Hi guys, um, I hope you are having a great week. So today I have super fun one. Um, it is some holly. It is such a fun lesson. Um, so for this one, you need a brown crayon. I happen to have one of these chunky construction crayons, but anyone will do. Um, and your watercolors and a thinner brush. Okay, just like that. And yeah, that's all of it. Oh, if you want to, you can do the um, berries in red crayon. I did crayon and then paint. So you might want a red crayon as well. All right, and then just white paper. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so I have my paper portrait or hot dog layout and I have my brown crayon. I just happen to have a nice chunky one, um, but any one will work. And we're gonna go ahead and start on our branch. And we're gonna start with kind of a thicker branch up here. And just kind of like that. And any way you draw your branch is okay. There is no right or wrong with this. And I am just going to give it some color here. I don't wanna color it all the way in, but just a little bit. And then I'm going to bring a main branch down. So just like that. So I don't wanna go all the way down to the bottom of my page, but just about to there. And then I'm gonna make little branches off of here. And you can do however many you like or however you want them to kind of, um, which directions they go, all that kind of stuff. You can be creative, right? but we just want them to be going out. Maybe some bigger ones. There we are. Maybe that one kind of goes, has two bends. Maybe it has a little Y. That one needs something there. There we go. And let's see. This one looks a little funny to me. He needs a little help. There we go. Okay, and then down at the bottom, I'm just going to leave this one piece plain, okay? So just about there. Again, if I'm going too fast, remember you can always um, pause the video and come back to it or even rewind if you need to. All right. Alrighty, so that is all we need for our crayon and we are going to go ahead and grab our paintbrush and our watercolor. And we're gonna be using our green first. And I'm gonna go ahead and wake it up and really roll it around in that palette. Around and around and around and around. I want a good amount of color. I might just do one more dot of water. And we're just gonna do little straight lines off of all of our little um, branches. So. I like to start on my branches and then go back to my top one, but you can start at the top and work your way down. That's okay too. Um, but I'll just show you, we're just gonna flick, 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 flick. And we're gonna flick starting at our um, branch and flicking away. See that? Flick, 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 flick. So all of our flicks are going the same way. And I just did a couple there at the end. Okay, and I'm just gonna do that to all of them. And if you need to turn your paper to make your flicks go the right direction, that's okay, right? Flick, 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 flick. And it doesn't really matter how big or little they are, you can kind of play with it, see what you like to do. And they can cover each other, right? Just like here, they're kind of coming together, overlapping each other, right? Do, 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 do. It's our little holly branch, right? Just keep on going. The most important thing is just keeping all of your flicks going the same way. So your paintbrush always starts at the end of, or at the branch and goes out. We never go towards the branch, right? Just away, away, away. Hmm. All right, working our way through these. 
Again, don't worry if you go a little slower than I do. I like doing these little flicks and this repetition kind of stuff. Now, if you were in class with me, um, we may do these with like some um, little stencils, like you could cut um, a piece of cardboard or something like that. Maybe you have a younger brother or sister you think might would enjoy um, doing something like this. You could always do a little, have mom or dad help you cut a little piece of cardboard and you can do it like a stamper. Or they could try it this way too. All right. And I'm doing quite a few of these, but it's okay if you only do a few. And then down at the bottom, I'm just gonna bring that greenery down. And now that I've done all of that, I'm just gonna come up and kind of do a few little flicks up here. But I don't think I'm gonna do too many. Feel free to do some right over your branches. I try not to do too many, but I am gonna do some up there at the top. All right. Let's see, anywhere it looks like it needs any. I think that is pretty good. Now, the last thing I like to do with this is I get a little bit of green on my brush. And you might wanna have mom and dad help you for this or make sure you're somewhere where you're not gonna get it everywhere and do a light little tap, 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 tap with the green. Just a couple little taps. We're not flicking crazy, just tapping our finger on the brush. Okay? Now, once you get to this point, you have two options. We can either wait for this to dry very well and you can do your little berries in red paint or you can grab a red crayon or oil pastel um, and do your berries with the crayon. For the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a crayon, but you know, even with the crayon, you could still go over it with paint afterwards, right? So with the berries, I want us to try and group some of them together. So some of them can be by themselves, but try and group them, you know, in groups of one or two or three, sorry, one would not be a group. <laughs> we can do just one, but try and group them in groups of two or three, right? Just like that. And you can just kind of place them where it makes sense. I'm going right on top of my other stuff, right? I would say you want, you know, at least that many groupings. You can do some right on the wood. Definitely do a nice group down towards the bottom, right? There we are. Maybe this one needs another one. Say so that's looking pretty good. You can even have some on the bottom of the branches. You don't have to have them all on the top. And there we are. Look at our fun little holly plant. I think I'm going to, I think my green is dry enough that I'm just gonna put a little dot of this red paint on top so you guys can see it before we're done. I'm just gonna go over just a little, right? You know what else you guys could use for this? You could use a cotton swab, a little Q-tip type thing. That would be fun for this. All right. I haven't even gone back into my paint until just now. That went well. Okay. I would say that is some pretty awesome holly. I hope you guys like that and I hope you enjoy your time off with your family and I will see you next year. Bye guys.